sport on the planet. And as competition between international teams get even steeper, one football club is already gunning for the league. Welcome to this episode of Footy Moment with Nabila, where we live for the game. On today's show, we go all in on an international football talent scouting on Stargaz and on talent discovery. Talent discovery shines the light with a new crop of upcoming football stars. Football might be a fun spot, an highly lucrative for an average international player. Like every other sport, careers do not last forever. Some players retire earlier than others, while some suffer injuries they never recover from. That is a problem for international teams that have legacies to protect. But our star guest for today has a winning formula to solve this issue. While it still dominates the world of international football, Juventus FC is not taking any chances when it comes to securing the future success of the club. Juventus Academy Nigeria is the official international academy of Juventus Football Club of Italy. The academy is dedicated to educating young Nigerians about the game and football culture, with a focus on developing the members of the club as individuals nurturing in them values like sportsmanship and healthy competition. Juventus Academy Nigeria is set to ensure that the standard of youth sports in Nigeria and indeed Africa is elevated to even greater heights. Today on the show, we are technically not speaking to a person but the representative of Juventus Academy Nigeria, Prince Haji Kwa. Did I get your name right? <laughs> Welcome to Footy Moment with Nabila. We are so happy to have you here. It's my pleasure to be here. You are the program director for Juventus Academy Nigeria. So tell us a bit about your background and how did you get here? Okay, um, so um, right from um, Day one, football has always been my first love. Wow. Uh, played, I coached. You played? I played, I played, mm. uh, I played to the amateur level. But obviously, the um, African parents stigma <laughs> with us. But yeah, um, I started, I ventured into the business aspect of um, football while I was in the UK studying for my master's. I did my master's in sport, uh, sports. Uh, sport business management oh. uh, in the prestigious University of um, Sheffield Hallam. Uh, after which, uh, I then uh, got the uh, contract with uh, Juventus Academy to be their program director in Nigeria. Wow, interesting. So, tell us more about Juventus Academy Nigeria. Uh, I mean, as we all know, Juventus Academy, the Football club itself is the current employer of um, the world best footballer, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Is it the is it the best footballer in the world? To me, yes. Oh, okay. Yes, it's no argument. It's what the mm. you know, five times. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. probably will still win one or two before he retires. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. The academy is just a uh, it's a uh, football institute where we teach um, kids how to play football. But first, uh, it's about developing these kids as a person before the football. I mean, uh, like I always say, football is one of the sports in the world that you have, um, you can have 22 different people mm. from different backgrounds, different entities, different language. Mm. And once they're on their pitch, they're all communicating one language, which is football. Very true. And you'll be quite amazed at what happens in that 90 minutes of the game. So, I mean, it's about developing these kids as human beings first for the football. And again, like I always say, uh, it's not just about playing the sports, mm. it's also about the, um, the, how would I put it now, the um, learning process of it. Uh, like I 
I would say, like I said earlier on as well, it's the only spot where you have different people from different worlds, different backgrounds, speaking one language yeah. in football. And apart from it being a sport, it also translates to your everyday life. Mm. Having to work with people you don't know, having to, you know, I mean, take for instance, working in a bank, you have different people from different backgrounds, similar to football, different mm. from different backgrounds. So, I mean, it's just about having this space to know the right direction they want to go in. Mm and helping them grow as a person and as well as a person. Yeah, Juventus Academy, Nigeria. Um, I'm sure when you guys came into the country, people were like, wow, Juventus is in Nigeria because of the big name oh, okay. Juventus has in the world. So tell me, how was the attention when you just came into the country? I mean, um, it was a little bit of both. Uh, yeah. There was the attention of, oh, there's students in Nigeria, and there was the, uh, the other part of it, which is, um, are they actually affiliated to Juventus? Mm -hmm. Which is something Nigerians, quote unquote, mm -hmm. would literally think of because, I mean, from experience and all this. Um, Calm and whatnot. Yeah. So we had, uh, I mean, our first year we had an issue with that. We are, we are having to, rather than promoting the brand itself, we are fighting. Are we scams? Are we mm. actually affiliated to the Juventus Football Club itself? So, I mean, that was what we did for the first year, trying to, you know, put the name out there to make the authenticity and all that. And then from there, it became what it is now. We have other football academies in Nigeria, what sets Juventus Academy Nigeria aside from these other academies? Um, I mean, like you rightly said, we have a, a couple of um, academies, international academies and a whole lot of local academies in Nigeria. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure they are doing their best at what they do in their academies for, for us. It's more about the family, you are more like a family the moment you're part of us. Mm. We make you feel like you're part of a family, which is why we say welcome to the black and white family. In respect to other academies, I think the major thing for us is the fact that we are a family and we try to impact on these kids on and off the beach. Okay. We're still talking to Prince, representative of Juventus. Academy in Nigeria. But before we continue, let's see Futi on the streets. We'll be right back. I just love let's give thanks to the Africa because we are giants and we are the giants of Africa. But my own discussion now, what I have to say is Egypt. Nigeria. Okay, I'm not sure, but I think it's Egypt. Um, Egypt. Welcome back. We're still speaking to Prince from Juventus Academy, Nigeria. Please, please tell me. How far is your reach in Nigeria? Um, okay, in Nigeria we have um, we have other things in Lagos and Abuja. In Lagos we have two centers. We have one on the island and one on the mainland, obviously for obvious reasons. Uh, the one on the mainland we use the national stadium to there, and then um, on the island it's the uh, Middle Hall School, mm -hmm. and then for Abuja we use the um, Tough Arena and River Park in mm -hmm. the central area. And before the end of the year or by next year, we should be at the end of the year. Wow, interesting. So, um, talking about reach, you have over 60, 64 academies around the world. Are these academies um, operated independently? Uh, all, um, all the academies, uh, to the best of my knowledge, are all affiliated with the Juventus uh, Football Club itself. Uh, like I said, it's a family uh, and we all run as one. So mm -hmm. all the academies run on a curriculum. 
So whatever we do in Nigeria is replicated in all the other uh, academies around the world. So it's the same um, law school, the same curriculum, the same activity. Wow. Talking about you trying to change lives of these young players, they are in Juventus Academy. So does that mean automatically they get to play for Juventus FC? Ah, I mean, it's not, it's not an automatic entry. <laughs> I wish it was, but it's not an automatic entry. I mean, take it like the um, going to school, the visual school, you've gone to university, you've come out, you've graduated, you had the best grade, that doesn't really try to guarantee you a job, you still need to go for interviews and all that. So same thing with the academy, you come to the academy, we train you, coach you and when you're of age to go to um, a professional team, you go for tryouts, it's up to the student to nail the interview, mm. nail the tryouts and uh, get the eyes of the scouts. So I mean, it's not a direct entry, I wish it was. Guys, we're still talking to Juventus Academy in Nigeria, but let's go on a quick break to see footy talent discovery. I'm talking about footy talent discovery. What better day is it to put a spotlight on Juventus Academy Nigeria? We'll be right back. Hi there. On Talent Discovery today, we are live at Juventus Academy Nigeria, situated in the heart of the city of Lagos. This is a special way Juventus is giving back to the world at large, improving youth football globally. And we get to hang out with these amazing and talented kids. Uh, my name is uh, Mohamed Yusuf. Uh, I'm the head coach for Juventus Academy Nigeria and I've been with them since the inception of the program in Nigeria. Yeah. What's your coaching style in Juventus Academy? Uh, well, uh, it's uh, a myriad of things, but I'll simplify by saying it's the one that best affords the kids uh, optimal learning. Definitely, maybe you were in another uh, academy before you came to Juventus. What sets Juventus aside from all other academies? Okay, uh, the first thing is the environment that we afford them here at Juventus Academy. Uh, basically, we, we work on the premise that um, every individual, in order to be well-rounded, as a footballer, has to have the tactical foundation also have the technical foundation, psychosocial skills, and also cognitive abilities. So all of that is usually afforded within our learning, uh, our training, our activities. So what, even if it's a simple drill, it has to have those four fa uh, foundations, which is giving the child an access to be able to develop as a rounded player. Since um, your son joined the academy, what have you seen in him that has been different? A lot. New skills and uh, passion and um, the motivation. He has, I've really seen a lot in him. Okay, I think they are very professional. I think um, they are very deep in terms of their content and their knowledge of the game. So that differentiates them from others. You are now Juventus Academy player. How do you feel? I feel really great and really good on um, It's really good wearing this jersey and having this jersey on. Wow. So what should we look forward to in this your new journey? Um, we are going to see more of hard work, um, pressure and consistency. Consistency, I like that. I feel great to be here. You know, Juventus Academy is one of the best academy in Nigeria, so I'm happy. So, are you looking forward to taking Cristiano Ronaldo's shirt in Juventus? Yes, of course. Ronaldo is one of the best players in the world, so I'll be grateful. So tell me, what one word do you want to say to Juventus Academy for this opportunity? Oh, God bless them and God will keep on providing for them. Juventus Academy Nigeria today, maybe Juventus FC tomorrow.
these are the talent to watch out for on Footy Talent Discovery. Welcome back. We're still talking to Prince from Juventus Academy, Nigeria. Prince, you are the program's director. You create, execute, regulate day-to-day -day of the Juventus Academy, Nigeria, both locally and internationally. So tell me, what's your regular work day like? Uh, my regular work day is um, it's not different from anybody else else's own. It's just um, I mean, like we rightly said, I do the day-to-day -day activity of the <laughs> academy. So it's just more of um, making sure the academy is running on a daily basis <laughs> as planned. Uh, training sessions are going well. Um, the coaches are doing their job well. I mean, just literally making everything as perfect as can be, mm. so that the academy is moving forward. Mm. So tell me, how much interactions do you have with these kids in the academy? Um, for, for myself, yeah. so we have yeah. for myself, I try as much as possible to attend every training session. Wow. And so just making sure the kids are um, okay, they are receiving the right training they should be receiving, and also just making sure they are actually all okay because we try if there's little or more the coaches can do while they are on the pitch if there's no one on the sideline watching so I mean, there's something i know a lot of people especially the viewers they some of them are thinking oh juventus academy is in nigeria how do we get in mm. so what is the selection process is there like a particular way people can get in um, people can get into the academy, is there a special uh, scouting or selection process? Okay, so um, first and foremost, I would like to eradicate the word selection. Yeah, okay. Select okay, everybody. so you don't select, yeah. Uh, all we do is evaluate them. Everyone okay. is welcome into the academy. From so, ages 5 to ages 18, okay. uh, all welcome into the academy. Uh, what we just do is um, before every season, so the academy runs on a season basis, mm -hmm. we run from September till May every year. And uh, before every season starts, we have what we call pre-season, just like the Premier League yeah. Syria, and whatnot. So the pre-season is the avenue where we try to recruit new players. Yeah. Uh, you come, you train, you evaluate you, just so we know what level of football you're going to possess, we know where to put you in the academy, mm. and how to tailor your own personal training to mm. help develop the factor. Also, during the pre-season is when we do award scholarship to okay. exceptional talents during the pre-season. Um, I know most people say so after the pre-season work next, the season starts, but that doesn't mean if you are not part of the uh, pre-season, pre you can still join us. You can still join us okay. after the pre-season. All you need to do is register for a, um, a single tryout, a day tryout, where you come, you train with us, and then because obviously you're on the trial, the coaches are aware, and they are also watching to see mm. if uh, evaluate the player and know what level of I know funding is a bit of uh, an issue for academies, both locally and internationally. How have you guys been managing with funding? I know you guys are Juventus, but um, there must I mean, be uh, um, a way. Fund, funding is always a problem. Should I say it's not, not a problem per se, but funding is always a key instrument into any project we uh, we've tried our best so far to get to where we are. I mean, we know, we know the situation of the country, we know the uh, economic situation of the country and we try as much as possible to keep it on the playing ground for everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, um, there are those who can afford and there are those who can't, uh, which is where the um, scholarship um, uh, based in, I think last year we had about over 100 scholarships. 100? Yes. Wow. Both across uh, Lagos, mainland, Lagos Island, and Abuja. So, I uh, mean, and we try to do that every year before the season starts just to help uh, people who really can't, you know, afford it and uh, they have the talent. 
and I mean it's not just limited to people who can afford it and mm. the scholarship. Yeah. I mean if you're good and you can afford it, I mean, you still uh, stand the chance of getting the scholarship. scholarship. So it's just a way of trying to help um, people and also help ourselves. In terms of ourselves, it's more of um, you know we try to revenue, to generate revenue as much as we can, and also try to get sponsors. You know, it's been wonderful, amazing speaking to you. But before you go, you mentioned something about scholarship. And uh, we, all for the moment with Nabila, would be like uh, not grateful and not putting it out there if we don't tell the world that Juventus Academy Nigeria has partnered with footy talent discovery a segment on this show and has given four boys from footy talent discovery scholarship and you know we wish our boys the very best and uh, before we go let's take a look at where are they now can you guess who the spotlight is on this episode we'll be right back Robert Emmanuel Pires is a French football coach and former professional player. Before his time at Arsenal, Pires played for French clubs Meth and Mercier. Pires earned himself 79 caps in eight years with the French national team, winning both the 1998 FIFA World Cup and UEFA Euro 2000. At Arsenal, he won three FA Cups and two Premier League titles, including the club's unbeaten season of 2003 to 2004. With a long list of accolades to his name, Pires is one of the highest celebrated players of French origin. Pires announced his retirement in 2016. He is an ambassador of grassroots soccer, an international non-profit that uses the power of football to educate inspire and mobilize communities to stop the spread of HIV. Welcome back. We're still talking to Prince from Juventus Academy Nigeria. Oh, Prince, do you have a final word for our viewers? Oh. <laughs> Maybe not the final word, but yeah, it's been um, great having me on the set. Uh, I just want to appreciate you guys for having me here, and also just thank you for coming. Sure, um, you can always um, get more information about the academy on our website at juventusacademy.ng, and also you can get more information and actually ask questions on our social media platform as well. Uh, it's at J Academy Nigeria across all platforms. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. Prince Ajekwa. <laughs> Prince Ajekwa. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for coming on Footy Moments with Nabila. And we hope you come back. And we also hope Juventus Academy in Nigeria keep up its pace. Thank you for watching this episode of Footy Moments with Nabila. You can connect with us on all our social media and just on Facebook, Twitter, and also on Instagram. Until next time, stay safe and keep playing. See ya.